So we're getting down to the final days of most of the things to come in for my solo system that I'm going to be able to use post-stroke. The speakers, the mixing board cases, all that stuff. But what I haven't taken into consideration until now is cable management. Now, I never was a great cable wrapper, but now I could do it with one arm. And I know this isn't the proper way to do it. This is kind of how I'm forced to do it. As you can see, it's cumbersome. And uh, how once I get it wrapped, my arm's pretty tight in here. And then, you know, I kind of struggle with how to actually, you know, tie it up at the end. It's coils, but, you know, then what? How do you secure it with one hand, one functional hand? So, yeah, cable management's going to be a little difficult. I don't know exactly how it's going to work here is what I managed to do with the 25 footer it's still not very pretty and I haven't wrapped it yet so we need solutions here I'm looking for your ideas but I got one for audio cable check it out this is retractable audio cable from a company called Stage Ninja take a look at this I was with Ryan Berger back at NAMM probably in about 2009 we met these guys they hooked me up with a sample and I was going to do a video for them and I never did this just sat on the shelf forever and now I'm thinking hmm I need a solution and here it is right in front of me this is pretty cool. One side, of course, is male, one side is female. Let me show you how it works. Now, here's how it would work for me. Of course, I'm using one hand. Usually, you put your hand on the handle and you operate this thing. I can't do that, though. One hand only. Cut this little coil, this cable coil on the side. You unwrap this short, I don't know what it is, a five or six foot cable. This is actually your, uh, your male end that would go into your speaker. So, you put that in your speaker. Now, this is your female. It's got this little ball here. It's kind of a stop ball. I have to put my foot on top of this thing to demonstrate how this comes out. Now, you start pulling the cable out. This little ball slips down and works as a brake. So it doesn't recoil on you before you got as much cable as you need. So there we go. We can pull as much cable out as we need and plug this in to our mixing board. Now at the end of the night when we're all done, we grab this little ball, bring it up to the top, and everything recoils for you. The only bit I have to worry about is wrapping up this bit on the side. But we're only talking about six feet of cable and we already have a nice cool little thing to wrap it around so it's not really that big of an issue. Now you can get these audio cable setups like this where it's either like maybe it's female on this side and male on the other if that's how you want to do it. It doesn't really matter. There's a little clip here. There we go. The cable's wrapped. So I'm going to pick up another one of these bad boys. We can go to stereo left and right speakers. Might pick up two more if I run a sub. We'll have to see. I also need extension cords. Stage Ninja does make retractable extension cords. The only problem is they're like 40, 50 feet. They look a little big. I don't know. I'm going to have to research a little bit. If you've got a good solution to my extension cord dilemma, let me know. Ultimately, I'm going to need a cord going to my mixing board computer light controller, and then I'll need two separate cords going to each side where my speakers are, and lights will also plug in there too. We're going wireless with the mic and wireless with DMX, so the only concern we have is audio and power. So let me know what your ideas are in the meantime. I'm pretty sure this is my best audio solution. Until someday we come up with a good wireless audio system that we don't have to put batteries in all the time and worry about interference. For now, I think it's all about Stage Ninja. Thanks a lot, practice and enjoy.